Put the scripture, please. <coughs> to prepare God's people for the work of service so that body of Christ will be built up. Next verse. Until we all reach the unity in the faith, in the knowledge of the Son of God, and become mature, attaining to the full measure of the fullness of Christ. Some people say, ah, some will tell me, the days of apostles are over. No more apostles today. No more prophets today. Really? If the days of apostles are over, you know when it will be over? The fivefold ministry will remain until you attain the fullness or the measure of the fullness of Christ. Have you attained the fullness of measure of Christ? No. As long as it's not there, fivefold ministry exists. <laughs> Hello? Oh, only the 11 apostles, that's all. Who told you? That's why you should know the Bible. I can give you references in the Bible where there were so many apostles were there. Fivefold ministry never stopped. It's continuing. Why? The church continues. Church has to grow. We need to read the fullness and measure of stature of Christ. So fivefold ministry continues. Next verse, please. <clears throat> Next verse. Then, everybody said then. When? When you are a part of a church where the fivefold ministry operate, then we will no longer be infants tossed back and forth by the waves, blown here and there by every wind of teaching, by the cunning and the character of men in the deceitful scheming. Then you won't be infants. Look at that. Then you will no longer be infants. That means if you are not in a fivefold ministry, you are an infant. You are not a child. The difference between child and infant. Infant is born again. You cannot even go to susu, diaper. That's infant. Feeding bottle, diaper. Infant. Most believers, 15, 20 years back. Why you didn't come to jail? Now what do wish to be from a birthday? Why you didn't come here last Sunday? Nobody said hello to me. <laughs> Pull your thumb out of your mouth. Learn to grow. Infant is beautiful. You know, when baby is born, beautiful. Infant is born. Ah, Anika was born. We carried Anika. Infant, beautiful. Infant. Now she's 17. Of 17 years also, infant means, how do you feel? You need growth, right? Imagine your child, 20 year old child, mommy, 20 year old child going, mommy. Le, Ippa, Thorsa, Katta, and Magane, Katta, thank you. Imagine 20 year old child going, mommy, Yatka. 20 year old child, carry me, mommy, Papa, carry me. Mother, mommy will say, Magane, you can carry me now. <coughs> But there are so many believers are. Years pass, they get offended so quickly. I'm hurt, I'm hurt, I'm hurt. I'm... You are offended so quickly. Why? You are an infant. How long have you been in the Lord? 15 years. When were you born again? 10 years. When you were born again? 20 years. Still, I get hurt. I get offended. He didn't say hello to me. She didn't talk to me. He did this to me. He did this to me. He did... You are an infant. Pull your thumb out of your mouth. Remove the feeding bottle from your mouth. Time to grow up. Hallelujah. Why growth did not happen? Because you were not a part of fivefold ministry. You were an infant. You know, I am an apostle to many ministries, but I have an apostle over me. I submit to the apostle over me, my teacher over me. God appointed apostle, God appointed teacher over me. You know his name? Terry will go. I need an apostle over me. I need a teacher over me. You need to, so, you know, people don't even know what is church. Pastors are so insecure. They don't want, they don't want any other ministers to come in. Put the scripture, please. Then we no longer be infant tossed back and forth by waves, blown here and there by every wind of teaching, by the cunning crafts of men in their deceitful scheming. Next. Instead, speaking the truth in love, we will in all things grow up into him who is the head that is Christ. See? 
for you to grow up into Christ who is the head you got to be under the fivefold ministry hallelujah that's why god sends you pastor god gives you teacher god gives you place of worship and god gives you a prophet Amen. last sunday i taught you difference between prophecy and prophet every believer can prophesy but not all are prophets can you put the same thing please every believer is exhorted to seek to prophesy but god chooses prophets it's not your choice he gave some apostles some prophets some evangelists some pastors some teachers okay he gave you don't choose so from today i will be a pastor agalla from today i am a prophet agalla no i went to prophetic school i became a prophet agalla i went to bible college i became a pastor agalla he gave efficient for we read he gave some apostles so he gives you don't choose he gives i cannot choose my calling if anybody can choose i did not wait for 27 years to be a pastor i waited for the day god said now you do it i did it you got to wait so <clears throat> i remember every believer exhort to prophesy but god chooses prophets it's not our choice number 2 it's a gift of the holy spirit prophecy is gift of the holy spirit prophet is gift from christ yeah. prophecy is something you do prophet is something you are i am a prophet you can prophesy every believer can prophesy but you cannot say i am a prophet but but god calls you to be a prophet then you say i am a prophet <clears throat> <clears throat> something you do something you are number 2 prophecy is for exhortation edification comfort that means every prophecy any believer prophesies you should not prophesy who should marry whom the prophecy should bring exhortation that means encourage you edification build you up comfort you but the, the response of prophet is to direct correct warn govern equip by prophecy you don't do it prophet will do it <clears throat> next <clears throat> prophetic ability is the gift the ability to prophesy it's a gift but here prophet is the gift you got to understand this prophetic ability is a gift prophet is a gift number 2 prophet is classified as a saint that means any believer can prophesy but prophet is a call to be the part of the fivefold team is a fivefold team man anybody can prophesy but prophet is belong to fivefold team next prophecy is a gift for any believer but prophet is the foundation of the church that means there should be that maturity a walk with god understanding of the word revelation of your word character where you can become a foundation you can become a foundation prophet is a foundation we saw efficient tool we saw efficient tool Read the scripture, please. Let me read the scripture because so those of you who didn't attend, you will not know what I'm what I'm saying. Ephesians chapter two, verse nineteen and twenty. Now, therefore, you are no longer strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and the household of God, and are being built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ Himself being the chief cornerstone. apostles and prophets are foundations but any believer can prophesy when you because just because you prophesy you cannot be a foundation <clears throat> you cannot take any stone on the road and make it now in the in the in the in this wall there are so many stones i cannot take any stone and say you are the foundation no prophets are foundations for the church believer lives are built on prophets but the sad part today I'm sorry to say this. You have invasion of Africans coming to India. Son of prophet so and so, son of so and so, son of so and so. <clears throat> so other day, sometime back, somebody sent me a poster. Somebody, son of prophet Hubert Angel. I looked at it. I called Hubert. Hey Hubert, do you know this guy? So who is this? I don't even know him. My son, I said, I don't even know who is. I don't know how he is born to be without my knowledge. Yesterday he called me from Nigeria. We were talking. <clears throat> See, you know, 
Prophet is the foundation for the church. If you have a gift of prophecy, as you continue to mature in a walk with God, God can turn you into a prophet. If you are evangelizing, continue to evangelize, God can turn you into an evangelist. If you are a, continue whatever you learned from me, you go and teach others faithfully, keep doing it, God can turn you into a teacher. Understand this. It is not your choice, he chooses. If you take a choice, he did not call you, you will not be a blessing, you will be a curse. There are so many pastors never called by God, started the church. They don't grow. They are, people, they are, they are in trouble. They put people in trouble. They are a curse. There are so many people who call this prophet, not called by God. If you go into call, he never called you, don't expect the grace to operate in your life. I'll ask you a question. <clears throat> Imagine uh, Chetan, myself, <clears throat> and Jude. Three of us went to Udupi Vaivo. And we ordered. Masala dosa, please. Okay. He brought masala dosa. Along with it, he brought upma. He brought sira. He brought puri. He gave pongal. Then after eating, he used a bill. Bill, you see, puri, pongal, upma, bill. I look at it, I tell them, hey, I will pay bill only for masala dosa. Why, sir, you ate everything, but I didn't order, right? Why should I pay bill for something I didn't order? Similarly, God says, why should I give you grace for a calling I never called you? There are today a lot of people, <coughs> the African culture, they see Africans, everybody wants to be a prophet. And they today, Indians right? son of so-and-so African guy. Some people told me, I'm a, I'm a son of this prophet, whom I know very well. I asked him, did you meet him? No. He said, how do you say, YouTube. Oh, I heard of test tube babies. Now YouTube babies are coming. <laughs> YouTube babies are coming now. Test tube, YouTube babies. <laughs> it's a messed up thing. So, and I see prophets coming, <laughs> preaching. I'm a prophet, I'm a prophet. Those fellows have never even read New Testament fully. <laughs> prophets. Prophet so-and-so, prophet so-and-so. Which church you go to? I don't go to any church. How can you be a prophet, man? No, prophet don't go to church. Huh? Really? Yeah. First go read your Bible. Acts chapter 13, verse 1 and 2. When I talk something, I see the word. Now there were in the church. Everybody say, in the church. Yes. Now say loudly, in the church. Yes. Say, not outside the church. Yes. In the church. Now in the church that was in Antioch, certain prophets and teachers were there. Where were prophets? I didn't hear. Where were prophets? Say it again. Where were prophets? Ah, I am a prophet. I have to go to church. Get out. I will never allow such fellow to stand here. I don't care what big names you carry. If you are not in the church, you cannot come here. Why? God will not accept everything. God will accept only that when you do the things in His way. I am telling this to you, church. One of the greatest tragedies will be when the Lord comes back. When you stand before the Lord, some ministries you think that amazing. Oh, great prophet. Oh, 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 great, great miracles you think who never did thing in line with the word of God, you'll be surprised to see what happened in their life. You'll be surprised. I'm telling you. Let, let, me, let, me, let me tell you. Come on. First Corinthians 3, 10, please. According to the grace of God which is given to me, look at that, Paul is saying, according to the grace of God given to me, as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, another man building their own. <clears throat> But let every man take care how he is building thereon. Now look at this. It doesn't say, let every man take care what he is building. Let every man take care how he is building. 